welcome you guys glad to see you again at the electro demo channel where we're going to continue to talk about the sierra leone airport the sierra leone proposed airport so we have some people who are saying that why in the world do we need a new airport we already have an airport why do we have to renovate it why do we have to have to make it more fancy we don't have that kind of money right now we need we need um to spend all our resources and time on education which is true and we need we need food which is true we need water and all that stuff why we need to spend all our time and effort in a new airport so let's talk about the airport the cost of the airport first listen to the president of sierra leone his Excellency Dr. Julius Mada Bio. So what I'm going to do in this short statement is to start off by saying how my government views infrastructural develop, uh, investment. We believe that infrastructural investment should not burden the country with huge debt. They should be financed in such a way that the public and future generations are not liable for that debt. So we are not going to build a bridge or an airport for which the people of Sierra Leone are going to pay back high interest loans for the next 30 years. That simply does not make economic sense. <laughs> so now, if you guys remember this was during the time when there was a proposal for the new Lunge Bridge. And everybody was dancing, oh, we're going to have a new Lunge Bridge and everything. And people didn't understand the structure. His Excellency Dr. Julius Marabio said up front whether not it's a bridge or an airport. So we are not going to build a bridge or an airport for which the people of Sierra Leone are going to pay back high interest loans for the next 30 years. That simply does not make economic sense. <laughs> so, so for all those out there that were worried and talking about we don't need an airport because it's too expensive we need food which is okay we need education which is okay we need water don't worry about it the infrastructure project is a totally different project it's going to be done by private investors private investors people who are going to put their money up their own money up with your country and they are going to invest in your country they're going to believe in your country if you have the money you can do it yourself this is open to anybody okay so that's how this is going to work it's going to be money put up not by the Sierra Leone government but by private invest investors now what we're going to do now we're going to go over this real quick it's called the DBOTS design build operate and then um, transfer. So these investors, it's, it's called DBOT, D B O T. The investor is going to come in. We're going to give them the specification because it's our land. Say this, so this is what we want. Okay, and we're going to say it's your duty, it's your responsibility to design the airport, build the airport. And then since it's your money and everything, the way you're going to get your money back, because these guys are investors, they're not going to just put this money up for free. They, they want their, their own uh, profit. So they're going to get their money back by operating it. Okay, after after they operate it for so many years, after they get their money back, they're going to transfer it to the country. The, the reason why this is good is because in the past, as I, as I would say, they would give us money 
I'm gonna take the money again. Woohoo! You could give us the money, and then and then when everybody, when every time every time somebody gives you money, the person who's giving the money has a lot of power. Oh, I am so powerful! I gave you money. So and then the person who's receiving the money is always submissive. Yes, yes master. Yes, thank you. I will make sure I would repay the money. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's the old school uh, profile. That is the old school structure. That is the old school process. The new process is different. You come in, you take your own money for your investment. You design, you build, you operate. The, the why this is different? When it's your own money, you're not gonna you're not gonna put some of your some of your money in. Let me see, I can take, take some of this money and put it inside your 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 pocket. It's your own money. So that's not gonna happen. So we don't have to worry about corruption, all that stuff. It's the old money. They're gonna be responsible. They're gonna be fighting you tooth and nail to make sure there's no corruption because it's their own money. It's a whole different pro. Diff this is a new format in West Africa, and that's why West Africa is is between that and the diaspora is coming in, and of course the Chinese, which are excellent manufacturers and other the other uh, countries. It is changing the structure. The corruption is going to be so much less. How are you going to steal your own money? So that's the new structure. Now, there is something I'm going to add. Remember, I had it on my last video. Because if you have the haves on this side and the have-nots, where's my hand, on the other side, if you have one doing um, very successful and the other is not, when there is a, um, a big struggle in the country or whatever, there's going to be a big fight, and then they're going to burn everything down. So it's very important to have a tangible In fact, That word, I heard His Excellency use that same word. Let's check it out. We also believe that infrastructure investment must be purposeful. They must unlock tangible economic growth and improve the quality of life of each of the citizens see his excellency dr julius maro said the same thing it's something that's got to be tangible what my recommendation is my humble recommendation the tangible should some be something that everybody uses in sierra leone what do people use in sierra leone what's the staple food is rice not the imported food not from india or not from america not from china the locally grown food and then also that the 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 rice should have uh the, the the bag should have a symbol on it saying hey this particular rice is from proceeds from tourism from the airport so see that's that's how that's how this thing is gonna work so i hope this channel you know helps a little bit better and again if you're new to this channel and you've been watching and at the bottom the bottom right hand of your computer the right bottom right hand of your telephone has this little red button right there that means you didn't subscribe and the more people who like this channel and subscribe to this particular channel the more I'm going to have videos like this um, I'm, I'm going to be having some new videos that has to do with the local rice tied to the slave trade the uh, people in the in the, the Shebru, um island that um, is correlated with the people from the Carolinas which is kind of unique because these Sierra Leone slaves were so skillful in growing rice that they went overseas and made everybody very rich and guess what now we don't have rice but there's a movement now to change that Sierra Leone has so much more powerful DNA slash or AKA tools that would make the other West Africans like Ghana and Nigeria look like dwarfs. I'm telling you. So it's coming down. So I hope this video helps a little bit. If you like it, again, please click the like button and subscribe and then I will see you soon. See you later. Peace out.